doing? Welcome back to a brand new video. Now in today's video, as you've seen by the thumbnail and title, we're going to be taking the Astro VXR out for a little spin. Now before we actually take it for a drive, we're going to be going through the mods and what's been done to the car. It's not a lot, but before we head out, I know a lot of people that own Astro VXRs want to know exactly what's done before I take it out. And I do this pretty much with all my cars. I list the mods and then we'll go for a drive. But before we go out, Let's start with under the bonnet. So we have an induction kit and an air filter. So that is pretty, that's, that's like it under the bonnet pretty much. Got the air filter, we got this pipe here. And yeah, that, that's pretty much all it's rocking. I am aware I do have normal Astra lights. I need to get the VXR lights. I'm pretty sure like the surround on the inside is all like dark and black. I'm pretty sure, but where these are just normal Astra lights. So I'll get them at some point, that will be happening. But can we just take a look at what it looks like now? Like it actually looks really nice. So. We're on standard alloys there, 19 inch Astra alloys. We're also on standard suspension and we've got Michelin Pilot Sport 4s, as you can see just over there. So that is pretty much that for the wheels and tires and the suspension under the bonnet's pretty much standard other than the air filter and that. We also take a look onto the interior. The interior is actually looking quite nice. We've got the boost gauge. We've got the water temp gauge, which hasn't been wired up. So only the boost gauge works. I've done that pretty much myself. So I'm actually glad I've done that. That's the first for me. But yeah, the interior is pretty much standard and that's it. That's what's going on under the bonnet, wheels, tires, and the interior. So if we go to the back now, we, have, we do have an exhaust. Now it is the pipe across, as you can tell, from the text just there. Now I'm not sure if it's from the cat back. I'm not sure exactly where the exhaust starts from, but we do have a resin there and the back box is still, it's quiet to me, but it sounds quite loud if that makes any sense. But yeah, we have an exhaust induction kit and that is pretty much it. So if we do a quick start up on the car, I will show you what it sounds like and then we can do a little drive. So there we are. We've got the boost gauge, which is just there which I wired up. And if we go to the back, you can hear it idling away, which is just here. So if I be quiet for a second, there we are. So going into the boot, I know pretty much no one really cares, but we do have my toolbox, a couple of other bits and bobs. I need to put this on, so I might do, a, oh, my subwoofer is actually on top of that, that's not good. So we have this, spoiler extension, need to put them on, and then we have the diffuser fins, which also need to go on. I might do a video on this actually, because I really want to start doing mods. So if anyone lets me know what mods you want to see for the videos, please be sure to let me know on the VXR or either the S3, please let me know. We do have an edge subwoofer. I've not yet wired my stereo completely in. I'm still waiting on the cable to arrive but there it is just over there. One quick thing I forgot to show you is me revving up. You can hear what the air filter sounds like. So you ready? There we are. It sounds mad. But all there is now to do is close the bonnet, put the GoPro on my head, and let's go for a little drive on the VXR. I finally have the GoPro set up. Every time I do these point of view drives, I honestly have to check the camera about 40 times, and I'm not even joking. Right, so we're now leaving this industrial state ride bike gate. Oh, does sound lovely to be fair. So there is a knocking noise from the back left, so you are gonna hear it in this video, which I'll be honest, it is very annoying to drive with, so I do need to get it sorted. So there we are, we can finally go. The noises from this is mad. We've also got the boost gauge set up as well. So now, before we continue on to the rest of the video, I just want to say a massive thank you to everyone that is subscribing recently, that is dropping likes, watching all of the videos. I appreciate every single one of you. We have just crossed 15,000 subscribers and it's mad. Like I remember doing my first point of view drive and saying thank you for 4,000, thank you for 5,000, and now here we are at 15,000. Like that's, that's mad to me, like it's actually crazy. So a massive thank you to everyone. And now we are here, we're, we have an S3, we have an Astra VXR, we can finally get insured on all these mad cars and take them out for drives. And yeah, pretty much that is that. So I'm not sure exactly where we're gonna go for a little drive today. I just thought, let's get the GoPro on. It's quite a nice evening. Well, it's not really evening. Don't look at the time there, that's completely wrong. I've took the stereo out so it's all reset. So uh, it thinks it's 2007 in the car. So if we change lanes quickly, go into the middle. I'm not used to it at all. I'm not used to the clutch. People are gonna hate me for it. It's so weird. Like compared to the S3 and the Focus, it's just, it's weird in this car, right? Oh, it does little pops as well when you change gear sometimes. Not all the time, but it does happen. Now, this car is mapped stage one, so I'm not sure exactly what power it's making. 
around 260-ish. It don't feel that quick. I don't know what's up with it, but it, this car feels really, really slow. Now, it's quite bad to say that, but it just does to me compared to the S3. This this car, it just does feel slow. It's quite, it's quite good fun though. There's also something up with the steering. I've got to get it sorted. I'm not sure exactly what it is. So if anyone can tell from this point of view driving what the issues may be, please let me know in the comments. What the hell is going on here? This, these lights are a disaster in Redden. Look at them. Actually just a disaster. Ah, oh, look at the, look at the nice sunset outside. This is why I wanted to film it today because I think the weather for the rest of like the week is gonna rain pretty much every day. So I was like, we need to film this right now, all right? So if we don't, we're not gonna have a chance to film it and I kind of want to upload it so people can watch it. And here we are. So the window over this side doesn't work. So I'm not even gonna touch it because when you put it down, it's a pain to put it back up. So that's gonna wait until it's a little bit warmer outside and uh, we'll get onto it. Got little pops there. Oh, it's, it's a bit wet outside. I don't like filming these point of view drives when it's wet outside because I feel like I'm just gonna spin out constantly. The Pilot Sport 4s though, they do do bits on this car. They are some good tires to have. So I am going down my favorite country roads down here. They're my favorite roads. Mere Oak Park and Riders on the right, so you might recognize that from loads of my videos. We actually haven't been there recently, which is quite surprising because they used to always be held here like we stand on this roundabout, the car park would be in there, but it doesn't happen anymore. So we're going to left at this roundabout. It's third gear. Just the S3 would just pick up like mad if that was the S3, but this just doesn't. Just don't know. It just doesn't feel as nowhere near as quick. It could be down to the map. I'm not entirely sure, or just something else that's wrong with the car. I don't know, but. Hopefully I'll get it remapped again at some point and then we'll see where it goes from there. Down into second gear, hitting 60 roads. It just pulls me all over the road, man. Oh my God, I'm not, I'm not used to it at all. Like the S3 is just so safe, but in this, I just feel like I'm just gonna spin out and die. Like, honestly, I'm not even saying that to be funny. Like genuinely, it just feels like it's just gonna take me off the road. Now I know like not even when I'm hitting boost, it would just pull me all over the road. So I'm gonna take it out for obviously for today's video. And then anyone who knows what the issue might be, let me know in the comments because I, I need to put it up on ramps and take a look to see what it actually is because I feel like if I was to die in a car, this is the car I'm gonna die in. Like, no, no joke. And you can hear the knocking noise at the back, it's horrible. Someone told me it's just probably a spring because that's common to go in this car. If I be quiet, might be able to hear it, I'm not sure. Hopefully the GoPro can pick that up. Surprised this road isn't flooded to be fair. It usually is. And there was a big pothole, we gotta avoid that and we're going left. Oh my God, it's so bumpy, it's so bumpy. A little pop there. The noise this thing makes is mad. I don't even really look at the boost gauge. I just wanted it because it's there. It looks absolutely sick. And I'm glad I've actually like done that myself. With the help of a couple of friends, we got it done in the end. Like I said in the intro, if there's any modifications you want me to do to this car, please be sure to leave them down in the comments. Now we'll hopefully do the wheel suspension at some point if I keep this car long enough because with my, you know, take on cars is I don't keep them for very long, so it's not, not that great so i'm going to try and get some videos done i think we should do a sun strip we'll do the spoiler lip extension thingy and then we will also do the diffuser fins i want to do that for a video so we'll get down to that that should be one of the videos to be filmed on this car now i'm not sure when it's going to happen because it is quite cold outside to be fair and i don't fancy being outside in the cold like i'm in a nice warm car go down to fifth go down to fourth we do have a van in front of us Now cruise control is so nice on this car. It's my first car I've ever owned with cruise control. I wish my daily had it because when I'm on my way to my girlfriend's house, cruise control is lovely. I'll tell you that for sure. Like I love cruise control. I need it on all my cars to be fair. I'm surprised the Audi doesn't have cruise control. So here we are. We're going down 60 roads. Now I don't drive like a maniac. So 
this is not the video for you if you expect me to drive ridiculously fast. I don't do that on my channel. I go up to the speed limit and that's all you're gonna see pretty much. Sounds so good. I love the turbo noises. The S3 makes them as well. This makes it, ah, oh, so good, so good. Oh, yes. Whew, that noise is addicting. I'm telling you, it's just addicting. I'll be honest though, leaving it in sports mode, we've actually lost quite a bit of mileage, so I think I'm gonna turn that off. <laughs> I, don't, I don't want my mileage to go down ridiculous. Like, look how much it's gone down. I wanna go right here. starting to get quite dark out. Hopefully the GoPro does bits in the dark. So every time I seem to use it, it just doesn't do very well. Right, third gear. Like it gets up to 60 pretty quick, I can't lie. Like I'm still not used to it in this, in this car at all. Let's go down to sixth gear. And you know what? Let's whack on cruise control because cruise control does it best, eh? I love cruise control, honestly. Haven't got to do nothing. My foot isn't on the throttle. Cruise control just does its bits. I need this on a daily so badly. Going down to 50. See, just braking then, my steering is going all over the place. I'm not sure if that's normal or not. Oh, why are we, why are we, oh my God, why is it pulling me to the sides? These houses just here, someone like gone into a ditch, but look, look at these houses. Oh my God. To own that one day would just be an absolute dream, wouldn't it? If I didn't invest so much money into cars and buy stupid modifications, even though I love it like it's my hobby, I absolutely love doing mods to my cars, but if I didn't spend all my money on cars, modifications, maybe I could have a house one day. Not, not as mad as this, but I could have a house or even have a flat or something mad. Hopefully one day we'll get there. I don't know when that'll be, but it'll be when I stop investing money into cars, but anyone who's into cars can relate. Going past the AWE. Oh, we got a little pop and turbo noises. Oh, yes. straight over we're hitting 60 roads again cruise control on and there we are <laughs> I love cruise control oh look at the sunset that is beautiful that is stunning driving in to the sunset we are that's what's happening today you can definitely hear the knocking noise now definitely yeah so if anyone knows what that is let me know in the comments yeah that, that knocking noise is actually doing my head in now I need my stereo working. I'm literally waiting on the last adapter to arrive and then we will finally have a stereo in here with the subwoofer all set up. Everything is all ready to go. I just need to connect it to the battery terminal, do the earth cable in the back and everything over here is all done. So I'm waiting on that one cable to arrive and then we're all good. <laughs> Hopefully the GoPro picked that up. Oh my god, yeah, I'm not driving through that. Oh my god, that's literally a lake. See, the steering is pulling me all over the place while braking there. Like, I actually have to hold the steering wheel quite a lot, otherwise, it just pulls me. Let's 
go left. I've been right before. Besides like car modification videos, which are, are slowly gonna come into the channel, I just, I don't really like filming outside my house because where my where the houses around my street are quite close together, I get quite nervous holding the camera, talking to it because I know people next to me, that their windows open, they can hear me talking. That's the one problem with where I live and that's why you haven't seen me do car modifications in my front garden. Due to that one reason, that's why I haven't done it. I, I literally, I'm too nervous to do it. So besides car modifications and the usual car meet videos, which I usually do, which is like 99% of my channel, I wanna start doing different stuff. So I was talking to some matey that owns a Toyota Chaser doing a car review. He's all down for it. I just need to go and film it. Like I can honestly go out in his car, we we'll do whatever we can in the car. And then, yeah, that'd be like a car review. Now I don't wanna do them all the time because that's not my type of channel. I just wanna do it like every so often, like let's say, you know, we some car meet videos and then we do some car modifications and then mix it up with like a car review. Not a car review, but like I'll just be in the passenger seat, we've got the driver there and then he can just take us out for a spin and whatever we get up to, we get up to in the videos, obviously plates will be blurred and stuff like that. So it's gonna take a lot of time on editing. Like my videos, honestly, if I didn't have to blur the number plates, my videos could be out like every other day. And maybe even every day I could edit a video if it weren't for the number plate blurring. It honestly takes me like four or five days extra on top of editing to get it out. So yeah, it's a lot of work that is invested into my videos. Car reviews I think will honestly be banging for the channel. If there's any other stuff to do with cars, please be sure to leave them down in the comments and hopefully we'll get on it one day. But yeah, I can't really take other people's cars for a spin because my insurance doesn't really allow that. So hopefully some point in the future, to be fair, I'd be too scared to break someone else's car, which I wouldn't want to have that on my name. But yeah, I think that's what we should do. That would be sick. Yeah, these, look at this. Look at the countryside. To own a house in the country would be, oh yes, would be great. I've had to quickly pull over. You guessed it, my GoPro has died, so it's quickly on charge. We're gonna get out, because it's like a picturesque location. I'm gonna get some pictures for Instagram. And yeah, here we are in the car. It's so annoying that that's died, so there's no cars behind us. Let's get out. It's quite a busy road, but I have managed to pull over, so. Here we have it, the VXR in all its glory with a lovely background. Here we are for pictures. Don't that look stunning right there? Here is a front angle of the VXR looking so stunning. I always get so nervous when people drive past looking at me. Why am I filming with a camera? But here we are. It looks lovely. Check this out. What a location this is, right? What a location. We're now back. It's got 29% battery. So here we are leaving the lay-by. good you know what i'm really glad i picked a day like today to go film this because we've got the nice skies we've got the sunset happening and we're now driving away from the sunset we're going towards my house so yeah that's where we're going now Right then, so I'm now gonna end this video here. That was it from a point of view drive in the Astra VXR. Now I've only owned this car for about a month or so, so it hasn't been too long. But yeah, it was actually good to get out, finally do a point of view drive and get it filmed. So if there's any other roads you want me to go down and take the car, 
to be sure to do it. And also any modifications, please be sure to leave them down in the comments down below. But yeah, I just want to say thank you again so much for 15,000 subscribers. To say that number is absolutely crazy. So I just want to say thank you so much for all the support and I wouldn't be here without any of you. So thank you so much for that. But yeah, I really hope you have all enjoyed. If you are new to my channel, please be sure to drop a like and also subscribe. And yeah, that was it from me from the VXR and I will catch you all in my next video. Peace out.